Hey guys, and welcome to Words of Scale. So I've got a very crazy story for you today. <laughs> and the story saw me ranking without content on the first page of Google, without regular content, so to speak. So it all started with me watching this video here, one of many, which was an interview with Kai Roof. And around um, a one and a half minute mark, uh, Kyle Roof is talking about how he actually ranked with lorem ipsum content, just to prove the point. And he built some citations and he uh, used his uh, Page Optimizer Pro tool uh, to insert the entities, but the content itself was lorem ipsum and he was able to rank. So I thought it was crazy and I thought it would never work today, so I decided to <laughs> go for it. And I chose a key term that wasn't extremely competitive. And after a few hours, I ranked 10, then 11, but still, <laughs> I remained on position 10 for a few hours. And the content looked like this. So this is the actual screenshot. I since have revised the article because I don't want to get penalized or anything like that. So this was the original article that I published on the 27th and the rankings were a few hours later. So this is the actual content. As you can see, this is just a uh, junk content, but in fact, these are the entities. And I even have some <laughs> internal link here and that's it. So this was the content that actually ranked. And it did not drop for a while. I, I lost one position, but still. And before I tell you how I did that, I want to once again remind uh, anyone who is struggling with entities versus OSI keywords uh, and remind them of what they are. So entities refer to specific people, places, organizations, and products like uh, Apple Inc., New York City, or iPhone 14. They are all entities. They are mostly nouns. And then OSI keywords are related words and phrases that are conceptually or semantically similar to the target word. For example, the, for the keyword credit cards, OSI keywords could be money, credit score, interest rate, etc. And entities help search engines understand the content and provide contextual meaning. OSI keywords help search engines understand conceptual relationships between words. And just to give you an example for the C keyword of make money with crypto arbitrage, Entities would be Bitcoin, Ethereum, Binance, Coinbase, Kraken, FTX, Tether, Solana, Avalanche, and Terra. And OSI keywords would be trading, exchanges, blockchain, cryptocurrency, digital assets, decentralized finance, stable coins, smart contracts, tokens, and mining. And entities refer to specific cryptocurrencies, platforms, and organizations. Those are all names. And OSI keywords are broader terms that are conceptually related to making money with crypto arbitrage. I ended up using this uh, tool here, which uh, many think is the best uh, paid tool for extracting entities. This tool doesn't have affiliate programs, <laughs> uh, nor do I have a link for you to register with, unfortunately. I myself picked it up on a Black Friday sale, uh, which is, uh, I think, uh, still occurring. So I got this plan here, which allows you to do page scans on page optimizations. Uh, you can use their inbuilt writer tool and AI detection tool. So that's what I picked up for my experiments. And you can run uh, 160 on page scans. You have 350,000 AI credits. You even get the 1,000 a month AI detection credits as well. And this is the tool and this is how the tool looked like. So what I did, I just uh, pasted in the um, key term like so. I pressed submit and this is what I got. So first of all, uh, if I were to insert my existing article, I would have gotten a score, a page average versus my score. I don't have that here. And then you get different re recommendations. So worth recommendations, highly related keywords, keyword variations, related words, specific category words and you even get the the suggested title topic coverage facts that you can use in your article statistics so this is very valuable topic authority questions and this is not a tutorial on uh, on page.ai but i've been uh, amazed with this tool so lots of things to do then what i did i just opened up a new page i titled it uh, new writer versus uh, surface seo and i would just copy paste all these keywords all of them and once again 
the page that's ranked on the first page of Google ended up looking like this. So I didn't use a clickbaity title, I didn't do anything on page here, and uh, I still ended up on the first page of Google, and this amazes me. So what did I learn, and what I think you should take out from this? First, entities are way more important than OSI keywords, and Google itself says that they are not using OSI keywords to understand the content. Uh, the second thing is that <laughs> Google is not that smart yet. So Kaya Roof has been talking about this for ages yet, that Google does not pass value judgment. It itself cannot judge your content. It won't be able to read your article and just say what a wonderful piece of content that was. Then you can rank with filler content. And of course, the lower the competition of your keywords, the higher the chances that the filler content will pass and rank. And it wasn't a coincidence that I chose a low competition keyword for this experiment. And then you will get penalized, but not by Google itself, but by user behavior. So I would assume that uh, once I started ranking, a lot of people who visited this page would just bounce because this is just bullshit content. And that's why my rankings dropped, but they didn't drop to page three or four, barely as outside page one. So you will get penalized through the user behavior feedback loop as time goes by. So this is not a way for you to rank content, obviously, but this will be uh, uh, your bread and butter. And this could be one of the uh, SEO's most kept secret, the entities. I will continue with this experiment. I won't be uh, trying to rank filler content, <laughs> obviously, but I will be going through uh, some of my pillar pages and I will be updating them. And the beautiful thing about uh, on-page SEO is that it does have this auto-optimize feature. So just assume this has content. And then when I click auto-optimize, it will very much like Surf SEO insert these keywords natively. So it will create paragraphs around these keywords and it will give you the final score here. Let me know if you want more reviews about on-page SEO. If you do have the budget for it, you can grab the Black Friday deal, I'm not associated with them in any way. I paid for it myself. And if you don't have the money or the funds, you can just watch my experiments and try other tools like Perplexity, for example, to extract entities and then try to apply whatever learnings came out from this to your use case. Hope this video was helpful. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I'll see you next time.